Is this the first depiction of the pyramids? Considering that people around that time, they drew what they saw. Animals, things. Did they see the pyramids and doodle them down? Is this proof that the pyramids are actually at least 7,000 years old? Hi hunters, welcome to my channel. If you're here because you've seen my latest Egypt vlogs, well then, welcome. I went to Egypt in 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. Um, I got COVID. A lot of us did. What other train of thought, other train of thought. There was lots of things that I saw on the trip that didn't really fit into the vlogs and I felt that they needed a little bit more explanation and I wanted to open up and have more of a conversation with you guys about. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Nubian egg, which I'd never heard of before I walked into the Nubian museum in Aswan. Never heard of it before. Why is it not more of a thing? I mean, maybe you've heard of it. Maybe you haven't, I don't know. Let me just get my notes up. I can't see from here. Wow, I am blind. The Nubian egg, otherwise known as the Aswan egg or the egg, I don't know. So the egg first popped up in 1907 in the grave of some unknown dude, Nubian dude, and when they like carbon dated everything, it was 7,000 years old. Well, the dude was, the dead guy. He was 7,000 years old and the stuff that was in his grave, therefore minimum must be 7,000 years old. It was about 4,500 BC. That's what the tag said. So the egg could be older than that, but minimum this thing is 7,000 years old. Now, the thing that's weird about it, I mean, the minute that you see it, it's quite obvious. There is literally like three <laughs> pyramids on this egg. And then what's weird is that next to it, there's like a kind of wiggly line. Some would say a snake, some would say a river. Some people think it's the Nile because it is actually pretty much bang on in the right location to have from the pyramids to the Nile. like geographically. On one side of the egg, it has the three pyramids and a kind of snake-like, river-like thing with a kind of splodge in the middle, like a big belly, which some people say it's an area of the Nile, which used to have like a lake attached to it. And then on the other side of the egg, there's another three pyramids and then more of a, just like a regular snaky Nile thing. So that kind of made me think, is it a depiction of the pyramids of Giza? If it's on two sides of the same egg, I'm not sure, I don't know. What do you think? Is it two different views of Giza, like from the east and the west? No, that doesn't work, does it? If you know why this egg has two sets of pyramids on, like, let me know, because it, it's, it's on my mind. It's living rent-free in my brain. Some skeptics have said that the triangles obviously represent the Sudanese pyramids which are actually tombs and they're very like tall and spiky, like much like the ones on the egg. However, those tombs were built like 4,000 years ago and this egg is 7,000 years old. So the dates don't match. Also the, the spirally bit at the top, and I'm going way, way into like conspiracy theory zone here, but the top of the egg has like a kind of circular thing with like three rings around it. I mean, where else in sort of ancient history is there a place with three circular rings in? Just saying. My mind did jump to Atlantis. I was like, is this some kind of prehistory story enclosed on this egg? Is it to do with something like that? Is it like Atlantis and the pyramids and the journey or the rivers or the, the snakes? I don't know, but it popped into my head. I did find this article that said on the floor of the tomb found little pottery chips which had markings on which might actually be the very first kind of very early markings of writing which kind of outdate the Sumerian writing which is supposed to be like the first writing in the world so if that's true then why don't we know about this writing that these little tiny triangles also appeared on the markings on the little pieces of pottery and apparently they were just drawing things like birds, trees, clouds, animals, and these were mountains. That's it, case solved, they were mountains. Mountains, like they're not that graphic. Also mountains don't seem to have like the, it almost looks like they've got the lines as you see with the pyramid, when you look up to the pyramid, 
It's made of loads and loads of different bricks, but what's really obvious is that it's made in steps, hundreds and hundreds of lines. And those lines are depicted in these little, these little drawings. It definitely looks more like a pyramid than it does a mountain. But then I don't know, I always have to be careful that I'm not just choosing to believe something because I really want to believe that it's real. I have to try and look at everything through evidence and science and facts and rationality and just see where I sit with it all. The Greeks. Having a Google, come across a thing called the Orphic Egg. Never heard of that. It's like Greek mythology, kind of like a Greek origin story. They said their main god, Phanes, or... Ph What's his name? Phanes. Phanes. He was equated to Zeus, so we're just gonna go with Zeus, because everybody knows Zeus. Zeus is the dude. So Zeus came out of an egg, a cosmic egg, and kind of started everything. And then from then on, he made the other gods. And it's always depicted as, as this egg with a, with a serpent around it. It's interesting because in other parts of ancient culture and history, they say that like cosmic serpents are comets, as in like the younger Dryas. Things are, things are connecting. The god's name, Phanis, or Fanes. it literally means to bring light. And he created everything, the universe, the other gods, with light. Where have we heard that before? In the Bible. To bring light, to shine. The Latin word also can be, it can be related to Lucifer. Maybe it's a demon devil egg. Who knows? What do you think? Then I fell down a little bit of a wormhole about eggs on the internet as you do. And I found this other egg that's also completely mind blowing. And this egg kind of came onto the scene in like 2012. It turned up at some sort of antique market place. What's interesting about it is it is one of the first maps but in like a global sphere shape. And it's made out of not one, but two ostrich eggs. But what's really interesting is that it's like a full on map of the world in a very, very early form. Apparently this is how they dated it. They took it to like a bone doctor and they scanned it and then they looked at the bone density and realized that it had been reduced by 50%. So then they were like, ah, that means it was made in the year 1504. It's around the same time on the end of Christopher Columbus, but after his main expedition. But the weird thing about this egg is that it doesn't have like North America on it. It just has a couple of islands in the Caribbean and a lot of the South America, but in the North America. Over on the Eastern uh, side, more than the India, Asia side, there's a, a piece in Latin that says, Hic sunk dracons. Hic sunk dra Hic sunk dracons. That's probably not how you say it. Which translates to, here there be dragons. You couldn't make this sh up. I think some people have speculated that it was maybe copied and drafted from uh, old maps like the Piri Piri map. If you don't know what that is, give that a Google because that's like a whole other, that's like a whole other thing. Maybe Game of Thrones wasn't fictitious. Maybe it was prehistory. There we are. I'm totally, I'm totally joking. Don't come at me for that. So maybe let's just jump back to the Nubian ostrich egg. Where do you sit with this? Do you think that it is a depiction of the pyramids? Or do you think that it's just some sort of symbolism that happens to be on the egg that just happens to look like the three pyramids? So I don't know. I don't feel like they were mountains. Okay, let's open this out to the floor. I love engaging with you guys in the comments. So if you have any information on this topic, please educate me because I really wanna know. Um, what do you think? Do you think that this is serious evidence that somebody in the ancient time, 7,000 years ago, saw the pyramid and depicted it on an egg for a very important reason? Do you think that this is an egg and a snake and it's the very early beginnings of the Greek kind of philosophy of the beginning of the world where the gods came from? What do you think? Do you think that it's just mountains and that we're just seeing what we want to see. Thank you guys for watching. I know this has been like my first sit down chatty video. I have so many more little weird photos and, and bits of footage from ancient technology that I want to share with you guys. I talk with my hands so much. Yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment, introduce yourself. I'm getting to know a lot of you just through the comments and that's really, really cool. Um, you guys are awesome. I can't really end YouTube videos. I'm not that good at ending them. So we'll just... 
I'll just say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. My back is gone. Oh God, that's good. And 10 points if you guess uh, what my t-shirt's from.